in most indigenous peoples, or if not all of them, refer to the earth, the sky, and the non-human relatives, the wildlife, the plants, as relatives. And that's how we live in harmony and in balance. My name is Nikki Cooley, and I am from the Navajo Nation, the Nebekeya. I'm of the Tarrant House clan, my mother's clan, and then I'm born from my father's clan, which is the Reed people. My love for the environment has always been there. We grew up growing corn, squash, watermelon, and other crops. We still have to haul water to water ourselves and also our animals and our crops during the summertime. The Navajo Nation is in the southwest there where there's extreme aridification. So there's a huge lack of access to potable water. This area has changed drastically even in, in three, four years. We have been feeling the impacts of climate change more immediate and more fuller than urban communities who have easier access to emergency services, water, and just basic necessities. This area is drying out quickly. The water table levels are lower. A lot of our native plants aren't growing as strongly as they should be. And a lot of the wildlife are migrating to other areas for food and water. In addition to the lack of water, the lack of nutritious native plants that usually grow here, we have a surge of development. People are moving in from other states, buying up land and building, which takes up a lot of precious habitat. Tribes have always been active in the conversation and also action of addressing climate change and also climate change mitigation. Human society needs to change their mindset that these natural areas are to be used and used again without actually caring for them. Nature is very important. It's a part of who we are. Not just our words, not just in songs, but that innate connection 